Hey, I want to talk about the value of nature. It's, it's a little hard to articulate, but I think it's especially important since this is month, what, six of quarantine. Um, I know it's barely even quarantine anymore because you can go outside, live your life, do whatever you want, risk getting sick and dying. That's your own game. Do it. Um, but, you know, like I've spent my, you know, last six months uh, basically in this basement right here, you know, sitting at my computer doing um, work. I was about to say doing nothing, but like, you know, if, if you were ranking what I was doing based on how much movement I was, you know, I was doing, I was doing absolutely nothing. You know, maybe I got up and ran from time to time, but nature is fascinating because like you take the time to, uh, I suppose, extricate from this position that, well, in my case, the position that I'm in all day, every day. And I get out and I go somewhere new, somewhere that's organic and, and, um, by organic, I literally mean like just organisms surrounding you, things that grow on their own um, natural cord. And even the word natural doesn't cover what I'm trying to say. It's like organic to me is this idea that things fill the their environment to fit it. All right. Like, like um, for example, mm, well, I mean, <laughs> say you're walking into a woods, that's, that's an organic situation where like things kind of grow. I, I think of a, a human um society's uh vague word right i think of our american society i think of our even our like human municipality i think of even the way we build buildings you know like you'll see uh homes grow organically in a way that like well if you've got properties uh you've got properties that are available lying around the town right and people want to live there right those those kind of those forces will naturally pressure people into building homes um of you know certain style and aesthetic that, that kind of grow into it it's like organics is a process of growth and you can kind to see that same pattern not just in nature but all, all across the all across the field so the idea of living of, of spending time in like organic settings and organic nature is like you get time to experience senses that are otherwise alien so if i'm if i have my headphones on and uh, i'm staring at my screen all day i'm surrounded by my own four walls all of those experiences all the the sights that i see the smells i see those are all things that are in, in one sense, engineered, it's not quite the case, you know, like say I bring home some food and I cook up something nice and it's new smells, they're brand new, you know, you, you, you get plenty of new things too, but um, not the same depth and breadth of the kind of new things that you experience when you walk around in, in, in the woods. So um, something that I like to do just when I'm home, oh, hey, there's a spider up there. You can't see that, can you? Uh, something I like to do when I'm just walking around at home is, um, well, I sit up in this deck and I just listen to the birds that are chilling in these trees. And it's nice to hear those sounds of the world around me that I have no participation in. It's just something that I'm kind of absorbing, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm drinking in these sensations and um, uh, exploring them in my own time. And it's lovely. Um, and taking the time today to do that in a place that's entirely alien, just completely new. Um, well, it's not really entirely alien. I recognize woods. We we're walking a trail. Um, uh, so certainly there's this far more to the depth of experiences that I could have or could in the future have. But the idea is it's nice. <laughs> it's lovely to surround yourself with the fog of the North Georgia mountains and listen to the sounds of the raindrops on the trees in every direction near and far. It's and watch and the rocks pass by while you're driving along. Just brand new things, brand new things. Um, just fill your head with, with new pleasantries. Uh, I highly recommend it, especially if you've got, you know, if you don't take the time to do it already and it's easy enough not to. I, I spent years, I kind of didn't do anything other than show up to work, go home, uh, relax, play video games, smoke. You know, it, it just wasn't something that I uh, thought about. But then I started taking the time to, you know, like I've got Stone Mountain near me because uh, I'm in Atlanta. It's um, and I love Stone Mountain. It's amazing. It's my, that's my place. So uh, walking up and down that mountain and experiencing, you know, just seeing it, the, the amazing things that you see when you're around in, in a alien is the best way, like environment, alien environment. Like I saw spiders that I'd, uh, spider webs that were just fascinating. You, you get to kind of explore a world in your own head. It's like, it's cool. I saw the spider web. Um, oh, here's a branch. I don't have an example, but like there was this, this little leaf 
right? Like dangling from the bottom of the branch. And it's like, uh, I was with some friends and we just asked why it's fascinating. Why is it? What, why do spider like, is that just by accident? Did, did a leaf get stuck and then just like hang there? But I've seen them before. Um, and I thought like maybe they use that as like a weight to anchor their spider web so they could build the rest of the spider web up and around it. Um, and then, you know, as we kept on walking, we saw that exact same structure. I actually have a picture of me, uh, licking it. It's <laughs> that exact same structure of like the leaf was hanging as a weight. Right. And then everything else, the spider built up and around that leaf you know it was connected to a tree but it was connected to like these branches up here and it had this all, all this spidery webby business anchored by that by that one little like floating leaf it's just um incredible the things that that such a small creature that spider is is capable of it, it, it's it's wonderful i love spiders i'm a fan all right i'm gonna start talking about nature now um unless i can find a spider to take a picture of in the next 35 seconds of which i Cannot. Oh, except for this guy. You still can't see him, can you? I'm trying. I don't know if you got that. Did you? Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to slam this video off. Find another topic to think about. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.